the concern about what happened. And finally, and a big night, of course, here in the Arklid Tex, uh, reports all night long, concern about what happened. And finally, about an hour ago, we confirmed that it was, not again, an explosion that happened at Camp Bend in a company called Explo. Uh, underground bunker storage that uh, discovery not made until earlier this morning at daybreak. And what we've done here, this is a map of the area. You see Dixie Inn right along I-20 there. And if you look to the bottom left, that is uh, the northeast corner of Camp Menon where a lot of the storage of the explos explosives are. And we've overlaid that with a National Weather Service radar loop image, which actually captured the plume. At some 7,000 feet up, so whatever blew when those munitions gave way or blew, that uh, plume went straight up in the air. In fact, I've learned that bunker is designed to explode up and not out not to out. reduce the shock wave. That would explain why it went up so high. And actually, one of the witnesses that went out to find out, she thought it was in her backyard this morning. She called me a little later, and she was the one who said it actually sounded like sleet hitting her car and ashes coming down on her car this morning. She saw the glow as she topped the bridge over toward Camp Menden, but it just suddenly went out. And she described it as black, sooty ashes, some of them as big as a quarter that was falling on her car. All right, well, real quick, and here's a little bit more of what other people said they saw and heard last night. Emily? Sure. Oh, it's on the store shot shaking. I mean, everything in here was shaking. They, all the, the vents and stuff, everything fell out the ceiling. Uh, truck driver jumped off his 18-wheeler. He came in here and told us, so everybody ran outside. First, I saw the sky light up in the west, just loud, and I, there wasn't no noise, it just lit up. And I had caught my eye, I looked and I to the west, and then it, uh, the light died down, looked the boys, hey, what was that? He looked up and I saw that, and it lit up again, and then next thing we heard the loud boom, it looked like a sunset, it was so bright. And that's just some of what you saw out there. A number of pictures are coming in now, like shattered glass in downtown Menden, an explosion fell all the way to East Texas. Uh, we were supposed to have a news conference right now. It has been postponed out there at Camp Menden. But let's get the very latest right now with KSLA News 12's Emily Black, who's at Camp Menden. Emily Black. That's right, Doug. Well, we now have confirmed with the Webster Sheriff's Office that it was an underground bunker here at Camp Menden that exploded. It was an Explo bunker, the company that owned it, and we actually are here at Camp Menden right now for a press conference that was supposed to be at 9 o'clock, but it just got rescheduled to 11 o'clock, and it's going to be an Explo press conference then at 11 o'clock, so we're going to continue to follow that. This discovery was made at 11 o'clock this morning. It was in a very secluded area, so that's why it took so long to figure out where the explosion came from. Um, so we're going to continue to keep you updated. We don't have any reports of anyone being injured or anyone being out there at all whenever it exploded. And bunker houses are designed to blow up instead of blowing out. So that's why the uh, plume of smoke and the debris went straight up in the air. So we'll be out here at 11 o'clock for the press conference with Explo. And we'll keep you updated. Reporting live in uh, Camp Menden, Emily Black, KSLA News 12. All right, and uh, I know state police, uh, Webster Parish Sheriff's Office, and of course the military will be leading this investigation. And of course, the first time we learned about all this this morning, we were talking with uh, uh, National Weather Service, uh, who had those uh, radar pictures there and confirmed the site was almost at uh, the Camp Menden area, so invaluable information. Take a look at some of the photos that the Menden Press Herald shared with us this morning. You can see windows shattered at the Dixie Floors building. That is in Dixie Inn. That's some of the pictures they were taking out at Camp Menden. And we want to remind you, if you have any damage in your area, share your pictures with us. When you see it, snap it and send it to the email address. Send it at KSLA.com. There's a look at the Dixie floor. The first one was a picture of somebody taking a picture. Yeah. Uh, and here is the, it just, I mean, that's a huge pane of glass to be knocked out at the Dixie floors. That's right, right in downtown on Main Street. I was standing right there just yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you can imagine the force of that explosion. Probably force that went down into the ground. It, it went so far, but that force going up almost a mile and a half. All right. Well, again, uh, complete coverage of the uh, major explosion at Camp Minden that happened around 11.30 last night. Many of you felt it uh, throughout the day. 
Uh, you can get updates nonstop online at ksla.com and go to our website. To, you can do that now. Sign up for breaking news, text, and email alerts. This is a perfect situation. You'll be updated. You'll be told when there's an update to go read all about. Uh, we can alert you to anything that's happening on this story and other breaking news throughout the day as we keep you updated on air and online at KSLA.com. Of course, Facebook posted all over. It was just lighting up like crazy. And we also have...